हेलो नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का एन के इंटरेक्टिव लाइव सेशन में मैं हूं आपके साथ शिवानी झा और इस वक्त आप हमें देख रहे हैं ई विद्या के चैनल नंबर टेन पर बच्चों आज हम क्लास टेंथ के बच्चों के लिए लेकर के आए हैं साइंस का एक ऐसा सब्जेक्ट एक ऐसा टॉपिक जो पढ़ करके आपको भी बहुत मजा आने वाला है टॉपिक है कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स पार्ट थ्री और इसको समझाने के लिए हमारे साथ स्टूडियो से एक्सपर्ट भी मौजूद हैं लेकिन उससे पहले मैं आपको एक छोटी सी इन्फॉर्मेशन देना चाहूँगी कि अगर आप में से किसी भी बच्चे को इस सत्र से जुड़ा इस सेशन से जुड़ा कोई भी डाउट या फिर क्वेरी हो तो आप हमें संपर्क भी कर सकते हैं आप हमें कॉल कर सकते हैं डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन साथ ही अगर आप चाहें तो आप अपने क्वेरी और डाउट को हमें ईमेल करके भी बता सकते हैं ईमेल आईडी है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन तो चलिए फिर बिना किसी देरी के सबसे पहले हमारे साथ जो एक्सपर्ट जुड़े हुए हैं हम उनका वेलकम कर लेते हैं हमारे साथ स्टूडियो से जुड़े हुए हैं डॉक्टर राजेश कुमार शर्मा सर बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सर आपका हमारे सेशन में आपको बताना चाहूंगी कि राजेश सर आईआईटी गेट पीएचडी पीजीटी केमिस्ट्री मेरठ से हैं तो सर आज जो है हम बात करने वाले हैं कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड पार्ट टू लेकिन हम ये जानना चाहेंगे कि पार्ट वन में आपने बच्चों को क्या बताया था और पार्ट टू में हम क्या क्या टॉपिक कवर करने वाले हैं तो वो ब्रीफली बता दीजिए आप वेल इन कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड इन पार्ट वन we have understand the basic concept of carbon and its compounds and the formation of different kind of molecules that contain carbon we have discussed about that how the molecule form like that in case of water hydrogen methane molecule we have discussed the formation of so many molecules in the previous class apart from this we have also gone through the isomerism and uh, taking we have taken different examples of structural isomerism now in this session we will move to the further and we will discuss about hydrocarbons and types of hydrocarbons and we will take different kind of general formulas and examples of hydrocarbons will also be there in the today session ma'am okay sir so please can you tell the students what are hydrocarbons and also you can tell them the examples of hydrocarbons yeah. actually hydrocarbons are those compounds which are made up of carbon and hydrogen like that we can take example ch4 that is methane molecule c2h6 ethane molecule or apart from this in our daily life like different kind of fuels like petrol diesel these all car compounds are just belong to the series of hydrocarbons so this will be the example ओके सर इसमें एल्कीस एंड एल्कीस की भी बात आती है सो कुड यू प्लीज टेल देम कि वट आर एल्कीस एंड एल्कीस नो वैन वी विल गो फॉर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन्स तो दीज हाइड्रोकार्बन्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू कैटेगरीज वन इज सेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन एंड सेकेंड वन इज अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स वी कैन सी दिस वन लाइक दिस इट विल टॉक अबाउट सेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स these hydrocarbons have all carbon carbon single bonds these are known as alkanes general formula is cn h2n+2 where n is number of carbon atoms such as 1 2 3 or 4 for example methane that is ch4 ethane that is c2h6 and propane that is c3h8 these all are examples of saturated hydrocarbons we can say in this picture we make the more clear to the saturated hydrocarbons like that first example we can see that this is ch4 methane and c2h6 ethane molecule c3h8 propane molecule and c4h10 butane molecule in these four compounds carbon involve the formation of single covalent bond only that is the specific feature of saturated hydrocarbons we can observe here in case of c2h6 there are two carbons and all are involved in single bond formation in similar manner in propane chain of three carbon and in butane chain of four carbon is present and carbon carbon single bond 
and carbon hydrogen single bond is involved. In this case, moving to the further unsaturated hydrocarbons, these hydrocarbons have at least one carbon carbon double or triple bond. It may be double bond or it may be triple bond. These both comes in category of unsaturated hydrocarbons. These are of the following types. First one is alkenes, hydrocarbons with at least one carbon carbon double bond are called alkenes. General formula is CnH2n, here n again number of carbon atoms in the compound, where n is equal to again 2, 3, 4, for example, ethene, propene, butene, these will be the examples of alkenes. And in case of alkynes, hydrocarbons with at least one carbon-carbon triple bond are called alkynes. General formula is CnH2n-2 where n is 2, 3, 4. Making this thing more clear, we can take examples like in case of alkenes, one first molecule is ethene that is C2H4. Here two carbons are present and there is a double bond between carbon-carbon atoms. This is the significant feature of alkenes that there must be carbon-carbon double bond. In case of propene that contains three carbon atoms, formula is C3H6. There is a double bond again present between the carbon-carbon atoms. So, this will be the example of ethene and propene, butene. We can consider so many more examples in case of series of alkenes. Here, we are trying to understand more clearly to the one of the example of alkene series that is ethene. Again, it contains two carbon which having carbon-carbon double bond and hydrogen attached with the single bond. The electronic representation of this ethene molecule can be shown here. We can understand that carbon-carbon bonded by double bond and each carbon shares its two electrons with another carbon. So, shared electrons will be 4 and total number of bonds will be 2. That is again we can say this is the significant feature of alkenes, the presence of carbon-carbon double bond and ethene is the first member of alkene series that contains two carbon and presence of double bond. First bond is called sigma bond and second one bond is called pi bond. Now, in case of alkynes, if we will talk about alkynes, the examples of alkynes will be ethyne that is H C triple bond C H, propyne that is H C triple bond C again C S 3, propyne means contain 3 carbon and butane that contains 4 carbon C S 3, C triple bond C and C S 3. So, here are 3 examples of alkyne series that is ethyne, propyne and butyne. We can consider some more examples of alkene and alkynes like C2H4 also called ethylene, butene that is cis2-butene and trans2-butene. Now, if we look the picture, C2 carbon involved in the double bond formation and both these CS3 like if we talk about this both these CS3, this is carbon-carbon double bond and this CS3 group and this CS3 group lie on the same side of the double bond. These groups lie on the same side of the double bond. That is why this condition is called cis. So, we will call it cis 2 butene. In case of trans, again we will look at carbon-carbon double bond and this CS3 group and that CS3 group both are at opposite with respect to the double bonds. So, that is called trans 2 butene, both having the same formula or both are the examples of alkene series. 
similar in case of alkynes there is a triple bond between two carbon atoms in case of butane there is a triple bond, triple bond between two carbon atoms and total number of carbon atoms will be four hydrocarbons also will be present in cyclic form so we have taken one example from this series that is called cyclic hydrocarbon these examples making more things clear we will talk about further like chains rings and branch hydrocarbons carbon chains may be in the form of straight chains branch chains or rings here some molecular structure has been shown that is first chain form means there will be a carbon 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 single bond in a straight line that are called chain kind of hydrocarbons in case of branched we have series of three carbon chain and one carbon is present in form of branch so this is called like branch hydrocarbon and this is the ring kind of hydro hydrocarbons so this shows the chain branch and ring hydrocarbons one most important molecule that comes in series of unsaturated hydrocarbon that is called benzene having formula c6h6 here we have shown the bond line structure of benzene that contains the hexagonal structure of six carbon and double bond and single bond are present in alternate fashion so this will be the example of cyclic unsaturated alkene again in side we are trying to present the benzene molecule by 3d structure in which bulky balls represent the carbon atom and smaller white kind of gray color kind of balls represent to the hydrogen atom so again this will be the model of benzene that is one of the most important and most famous example of alkene series now functional groups an atom or a group of atoms which when present in a compound gives a specific physical and chemical properties to it regardless of the length and nature of the carbon chains is called a functional group i want to tell you ma'am there are a significant feature of the functional group there are different kind of the functional group whatever the things or compounds we are using in our daily life generally belong to carbon and its compound and they having the different kind of functional group we are using in different forms like in uh, we talk about foods or medicines or a, we can say that uh, in vegetables also yes. and whatever we are eating generally we are just surrounding with the carbon and compounds and generally compound contain one specific kind of group mm. that decide its properties so we call that functional group okay so in the series of functional group we can consider the main functional groups are first one is alkyl group that is represented by oh all organic compounds containing oh group are known as alkyls for example methanol that is ch3oh ethanol that is ch3ch2oh etc second functional group is aldehyde group that is represented by cho all organic compounds containing cho group are known as aldehydes for example methanol that having formula hcho ethanol that is ch3cho these ethanol methanol are iupac name given by iupac that is international union of pure and applied chemistry which decide the naming of any kind of compound present in the world third functional group is ketone that is represented by co all organic compounds containing co groups flanked by two alkyl groups are known as ketone for example propanone that is ch3co ch3 butanone 
that is CH3, CO, CH2, CH3, butanol means contain 4 carbon. The compound will be CH3, CO, CH2, CH3. Next fourth one carboxylic group that is CWOH. All organic acids contain carboxylic group that is CWOH. Hence they are also called carboxylic acid. For example, ethanoic acid that is CH3, CWOH, propanoic acid that is CH3, CH2, CWOH. These are the functional group mainly and in this picture again we are trying to understand the functional group. The main functional group is carbonyl group that is present here. This is the structure of like carbonyl group. This one is the carbonyl group having C double bond O. If C double bond O contain one hydrogen atom at its one valence site, then it is called aldehyde. Again, when carbonyl group contain one hydrogen atom, then it is called aldehyde. And if carbonyl that is C double bond O contain both side alkyl are group, alkyl means any kind of a group which contain carbon like CH3 methyl group, C2H5 ethyl group. In case of ketone, C double bond O group must be bonded with the carbon atom on both sides, then it will called ketone. If it attach with one hydrogen atom, then it is called aldehydes. So this is the difference between aldehyde and ketone. Next is carboxylic group that having general formula C double O H. Open structure of carboxylic group is C double bond O then O and H. Next moving further fifth one car, car functional group is halogen group. Halogen group generally represented by X and uh, it belongs to the 17th group of the periodic table that are called F, C, L, B, R, I, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. The alkanes in which one or more than one hydrogen atom is substituted by halogen atom, then it is called F. CLBRI kind of X are known as haloalkanes. For example, chloromethane that is CS3Cl, bromomethane that is CS3Br, etc. These are the five major functional groups which are present. These or functional group can be present in one sort like alcohols, phenols ethers, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acid and ester. Their ending name are given here. Alcohols contain all that is also called suffix. Phenol generally called phenols. Ethers generally called ethers. Aldehyde contains suffix al. Ketone contains suffix on. And carboxylic acids are denoted by oic acids. And esters are denoted by 8. These are the suffix generally used on the ending of the carbon compounds we, when we are going to name it according to IPAC system. Again some examples has been taken here like in case of alcohol if we called that is ethanol formula CH3CH2OH aldehyde that is called acetaldehyde CH3CHO, symbol is C double bond OH, ketone that is called acetone, carboxylic acid, acetic acid that is called CH3C double OH, ester methyl acetate, ether dimethyl ether generally are water insoluble such kind of compounds are there. Next if we will talk about that is homologous series. Homologous series constitutes organic compounds with the same general formula 
and similar chemical properties but different physical properties. Homologous series of organic compounds have same functional group. This is the specific feature of the homologous series. The functional group remains same. The adjacent member of differ in their molecular formula by CH2 or 14 mass unit. As the molecular mass increases in any homologous series, a gradation in physical properties is seen. This is because the melting and boiling points increase with increasing molecular mass. Again, we can make it more clear as homologous series. A homologous series is a series of compounds that have the same functional group and each member differ from the next member by a CH2 unit in their formula. We can understand it like uh, we, we can take a, a simple molecule that is CH4. If we will add CH2 then it becomes C2H6 that is the first homologous of CH4 and again adding CH2 it becomes C3H8 that will be the second homologous and again adding one more CS2 that becomes butane that will be the next homologous of the alkane series. All belong to the same kind of series that is alkane means involved in the single bond formation. We can take some examples of homologous series like in case of alkanes, methane, ethane, propane and butane. These all are the examples of alkene series. In case of alkenes, ethene, propene, butene. In case of alcohols, that is methanol, ethanol, propanol and butanol. In case of carboxylic acid, methanoic acid, that is called HCOOH, ethanoic acid, propanoic acid and butanoic acid. I, I want to tell you one more thing that is if we talk about this uh, methanoic acid that is yes. HCOOH mm. these all are organic acids mm -hmm. and generally it is present methanoic acid that is HCOOH is present in generally in form of poison snake poison ant kind of poison all kind of insect when white okay. mm. they generally insert this acid in the body because this is acid and blood of the body becomes base. So, such kind of special reaction occur that is called acid base reaction and composition of blood becomes changed. Okay, so this is very informative yeah, uh, right. th that you given. Okay, so dear students and viewers, this is all about today's session and we would like to thank you sir for this wonderful session. So, thank you so much sir. Thank you. Thank you. And साथ ही मैं आप सभी बच्चों का भी बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगी आप सभी viewers का जो हमारे इस session में जुड़े हैं और आज के session में हमने science का carbon and its compound part two का ये chapter पढ़ा जो बहुत ज़्यादा informative है भी रहा इसके साथ ही मैं आपको बताना चाहूँगी कि अभी से कुछ ही देर में चार से पांच बजे तक हमारा अगला session भी आने वाला है online training का जिसमें हम आपको सहयोग का सत्र भी देखने को मिलेगा 5 से 5:30 बजे तक जहां हम आपके मेंटल वेलबीइंग के ऊपर बात करते हैं तो आप इन सेशंस के साथ हमारे साथ जरूर जुड़े रहें और ऐसे ही और ज्यादा सत्र के लिए हमारे चैनल ई विद्या के साथ भी जरूर बने रहें बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद आप सभी का नमस्कार